Today we are, I am going to show you how to touch up your roots at home. Um, I am a hairstylist. I've done hair for about 25 years and um, I have a, a passion for doing it yourself. Um, I have skills and knowledge and so when it comes to doing my own hair, um, sometimes I would just rather do it myself and I know that I am not the only person out there who feels this way. So I want to give you some tips and tricks that will help you um, maybe in between highlights to maybe save you some money um, when we don't always need to go in every month or every six weeks, um, especially when highlighting um, so I, it has been probably about, oh gosh, it was before my daughter got married in December and we are now in April. So however long that is, four months, about four months. Um, I did do an oil treatment last night. This is the Rejuvenique by Monate. Um, and I knew I was going to wash my hair and color it today. So it looks greasy and wet, but it's because I did an oil treatment. I would suggest doing this before highlighting your hair. It really helps um, protect your hair um, and also get the moisture into your hair as you color. I'm also going to add a few drops to my bleach um, because while I've got my hair open and that we're removing color I would like to go back in with the oil and replenish the things that I'm taking away so um, just a little suggestion the rejuvenique oil is fabulous it's molecular um, molecules are small enough that it easily goes into your hair especially while you're coloring so add a few drops to your mixture and it will help protect and re rejuvenate um, your hair as you color. Um, the formula that I'm using, all of the things that I can, can uh, am mixing except for the Monate products, those you can find on my website, um, the Nesbitt's Boutique.com and I will link that down um, in the notes. Um, but the other uh, things that I am mixing up today, you can find at Sally's. I love Sally's because um, you can get good quality products without a license. Um, so use Sally's um, if you're doing it yourself um, because their products are good um, and just, you know, um, make sure you're using good items. Don't go to the grocery store and get box color. Please, please, please. Okay, so the first thing I'm using is the Salon Claire Blue Flash Powder Lightener. Um, and then I am going to mix it with 10 volume. Now, um, you may want to go up to a 20 if you have thicker, coarser, um, darker hair. I do have quite a, a dark root. My natural hair is about, uh, I would say about a five. Um, but I have very fine hair and it lifts very easily. So I do not need a high volume developer, especially with what I'm doing today. Um, low and slow is okay. I'm in no hurry and um, the lower and slower we lift the hair, um, the less damage you're gonna get. Um, so that's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna need a mixing bowl and a brush. And then again, I am going to put the Rejuvenate oil, a few drops of the Rejuvenate oil. You're also going to need foils of some kind. Um, these ones, again, you can get at um, Sally's. They're my favorite because they just pop up. I'm almost to the bottom of my box though, so they're not popping up very good. But they're, they pop up and um, easy to get the next oil. All right, so, and 
what I'm doing today for a touch up is um, I like kind of the regrowth in the back. Um, I want a natural um, look that is little work. So I don't do it. I don't do a ton and I usually root smudge a little bit so that I don't have a definite line as things grow out so that I can go longer in between. I don't, when I'm typically doing a full highlight on myself, I usually go from about my temples back and anything down here is just my natural color. But today, um, just to get me through a little bit, I'm just gonna do um, a face frame, or some people like to call it the money piece, um, just to get me through. Again, naturally your hair is gonna be a little bit brighter, a little bit more lighter in front. So um, I'm just gonna touch up the front and let the rest kind of grow out, um, and I will do a full highlight maybe in a month or two. Um, my brother-in-law is getting married next weekend, so I just wanted something a little bit uh, fresh and brighter for the wedding um, so that it didn't look like I had root grow out. So um, let's mix it up. I, I'm, I'm not going to use a ton. I have this whoop, little scoop, and I don't know if you can see, but I've got it maybe a quarter of the way full. And if I need more, I can always mix more, but um, I don't want to waste product. So I'm only going to use that much. Again, I'm maybe going to do three foils right here in the front. Okay, and then again, I've got my 10 volume. If your hair is thicker, um, darker, go up to 20. Um, but for me, 10 is totally fine. I am going to mix this. I don't measure my bleach. Now that's uh controversy some people will tell you to that you need to measure um sometimes i'll have a scale and exactly measure but to be honest usually i don't um i just want kind of like a frosting uh, consistency okay so frosting i'm looking for frosting and it's a little thin so i'm going to add just a little bit more powder um, it's not quite the frosting consistency I want. I maybe went a little too heavy with the developer. Um, but that's okay. Because we'll just add a little more lightener. And that is looking so much better. When you stir your bleach, you don't want to sit and like whip it. Um, you don't want air into into it it's going to as it oxidizes as the air as it touches the air it's going to fluff up anyway so you don't want to really whip a lot of air into it now that is perfect that's the consistency I want it's not runny it's gonna stick to my brush but it's not super dry and thick either okay so that's kind of the consistency I want now that I've got that mixed up, I'm going to add just a couple drops of my Rejuvenique. So you don't need a ton of this either. A little bit goes a long way. I maybe did three drops in there. And then I'm going to mix that up. Make sure that that's fully incorporated. Okay. That looks... Good. All right, so I'm gonna section off my hair. The way I'm gonna do this, um, and I'm gonna show my age here, but I do not part down the middle. Um, so the money piece isn't going to be exactly in the front. This is gonna blend a little bit more because of the way that I part my hair, but that's okay. That's kind of what I want. So I'm gonna go, a Kind of a thicker section and go back now to create that brightness around my face my first section is going to be a slice okay so in a, a very thin slice i don't want a big block 
of blonde right in front. I do every once in a while pull my hair back. Um, so it's gonna be really light. And I'm gonna go all the way across this section. And that is going to be about my slice. And I'm gonna get a little bit more right here. look in the real mirror. I think that side's a little heavy. Again, I don't want it real heavy on my slice, but this is going to kind of create that money piece. Okay. That looks pretty good. I want to be able to see through it. And that tells me that I didn't take too much. So I'm going to get my foil and this first piece is the trickiest piece because the foils, well, I'll show you. Um, instead of going right here in front of my face, I am going to put it backwards and again, doing it in a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. All right. That's perfect. Now, I do already have it highlighted, so I don't need to go all the way back. I'm just doing the root. I gotta come over here to my mirror so I make sure I see. You don't, you really don't wanna overlap bleach on bleach, so where I've already got it bleached. And if you get below the foil, it's okay. I always have a little towel here just in case. And then I always like to go vertical with my brush and break up that line so that I'm not getting like one line across my forehead. So just take it vertical and blend it in. Okay. That's my first section. Okay, so first section was a slice and I'm gonna wrap that up. And kind of get it out of the way. Okay, my second section is going to be a weave. So, I'm gonna take a little bit thicker of a section. You can see you can't see through it as much. And I may need my real mirror for this, we'll see. I'm just gonna lightly weave and I'm just kind of wiggling my comb across that section and I'm going to do it again. That's a little thick. Again, I'm going for just light. So I am going to sneak over here to my real mirror and just get a teeny it. Okay. That's what I'm going for right there. Okay. So just a few weaves. And then I'm going to get my foil. And this is a little awkward. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing and just get the roots where it's grown out. And there's a few that I could go a little deeper on. And that looks pretty good. All right, now this third and last foil, yes, I'm only doing three foils, you guys. This is just 
an in-between, a full service highlight. So this last section, I'm gonna do the same thing and I'm gonna weave. It's gonna be a weave. It's gonna be a little bit thicker than that last one. And I'm gonna show you why that's okay. All right, so on this one, I am gonna back comb. Okay, back comb it in. And then I'm gonna put my foil in. I'm even gonna. Okay, and on this one, I am going to round it. I'm not gonna go right up to the root. I'm gonna round that. So on the corners, I'm gonna get up a little bit closer. But the middle part, and I don't know if you can see, I kind of tried to make it in a U shape. Okay, so I don't want this one up to the root. It's gonna be kind of my blend section, my making it look like a nice little grow out. And that's gonna help the natural look and also it's gonna help me to be able to go a little bit longer in between this and my next full on highlight. Okay, so I've got my three foils in. You guys, you can, I've got so much product left over. I mixed way too much. Um, so don't mix as much as me. Um, I don't wanna waste. Um, but this is gonna sit, I'm gonna check it by just opening up the foils maybe every 10 minutes. Again, I am on the darker side, but my hair lifts pretty fast. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it and I'll get back on and show you um, when it's time to wash, wash it out. Okay, it's probably been about a half an hour um, and I am ready to go wash it out. So I am going to go wash it out in the shower. I am gonna tone it. Um, so my favorite toner is from Wella, but I got this generic one from Sally's. Um, it is a generic for the Wella Color Charm T14. That's what I tone mine with. It is pale ash blonde. And I'm gonna do it in the shower, um, just with a bottle. It's the easiest way to do it. I'm gonna wash this out and then tone it and rinse that out and then really good condition. Um, I'm also gonna use 10 volume with this, so the same developer I used with the bleach. Um, and probably 15 to 20 minutes, let this sit and then rinse it out and again, condition it. And I will come back and show you the results. I can't wait. Okay, here is the finished product. I love it. I just went outside and took a picture, so I'll post that as well. It turned out great. It's gonna get me at least a month before I'll need to color again.